हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पर एग्जांपल कर इफ यू आर लर्निंग सेल्फ फोर्स एंड स्पेशली इफ यू आर लर्निंग सेल्फ फोर्स एडमिन सम थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक यू शुड नो व्हाट डू मीन बाय यूजर्स रोल्स पब्लिक ग्रुप्स क्यूज प्रोफाइल पेज लेआउट फील्ड लेवल सिक्योरिटी परमिशन सेट्स सो यू शुड नो ऑल दोस थिंग्स सो व्हाट वी विल डू फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट न्यू सीरीज and we'll see what is the meaning of all those things and how to create them and how to manage them so in this video we will see how to create users in salesforce so see so here i have logged in in salesforce developer edition now see here we'll click on setup okay now see on left hand side there is search bar so see here i am clicking now see here we'll search users Likewise. Now see when we are typing users, automatically we are getting these fields, right? So first thing that we got that is users, right? So we'll click on this link users. Here it is written users. So we'll click on this. So these are some users which are already created and one user that I have created. Now so see Jamulkar Parag. So see Jamulkar Parag is system administrator. Why system administrator? Because see we have created this account. So that's why my name again okay, as a system administrator. Okay. Now see, chatter expert, user integration, user security. These are the users. Those are created by the Salesforce. And this is one more user that I have created. Now see, we will add new user. So I am clicking on new user. We will enter first name. So we will give some test two, last name suppose user, and suppose I am giving user two, something like this. Uh, here we will give user two, email username. Okay. By default, it is getting so user two. So see, fields shown by red are the required fields. See here, it is red. Those are the fields shown by red. Those are the required fields. Okay, so we'll fill this information. Okay, so role something will enter. So later on, we'll see what is the meaning of role profile. Okay, everything we'll see. Okay, so this thing will keep it default. Okay. Okay, so this thing will keep it default. If you want, you can change it. We'll click on save. Okay, so see this user is created, right? But we have not set password up till now, right? We have not set any password. Now what we'll do? See, I'm clicking on home. If again, if we check users setup and then users, we we'll click on users. So this is the list of all the users, right? So this new user we have added, right? Now see, we have to set password, right? So what we'll do? We'll open Gmail and we'll check recent mail. Okay. Okay. See. So we got this mail. Now see. We'll click on verify account. Reset password. So here we'll set some password. Okay. Confirm new password. Okay. In what city you born? So I'm entering my city. Change password. So see, this is Salesforce Lightning, and if you move to Salesforce Classic, so likewise you can see. So now here we have logged in as our user, right? New user. Now see what we'll do. We'll log out, and again we'll get logged. See, here I'm typing login dot salesforce dot com. So Likewise, and password will enter. Login. Remind me later. Okay. So see here, we are logged in as a user, right? New user. What are the user that we have created? So in this way, we can create users in Salesforce. Here you can see. So these are the all the users. Now see in Salesforce Developer Edition. See on Google, if you search Salesforce Developer Edition, number of users. So see on their official website here it is written. In developer all you can add only two Salesforce license users. That means in free edition, in developer edition, you can add only two users. If it is paid edition, then you can add more users. So likewise, you can create users in Salesforce. So friend, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.